Hello everyone, Curtis Chambers here with the Chambers Financial Group. I hope everyone is staying safe with the coronavirus outbreak. Please be careful out there and protect your health. It's our most valuable asset. Let's look at the world of the markets. Sir John Templeton, one of the most well-respected investment minds of all time, once famously said, the four most expensive words in the English language are, this time it's different. If I may say, these are some of the wisest words ever spoken about investing in the markets. With the world turned upside down like it is now, it's more important than ever to remember we've been through crises before. Today I would like to talk briefly about why this time is different, and then, as Sir John Templeton says, why it is not. Let's start with why it's different. We knew the coronavirus was coming and that it was a serious threat, but we have had major global outbreaks before. As you can see, they really didn't impact the markets. I'm not a virologist, so I don't know what is different about the coronavirus that has led to its rapid spread or necessitated the government reaction we've seen. And I'm not questioning or second guessing the government's response, but it is clear that what has caused the massive drop so far in economic activity is not the virus itself, at least not at this point. According to Brian Westbury, chief economist at First Trust, it is the government mandated shutdown of businesses. Estimates are the U.S. economy will contract 20% annualized in the second quarter. Westbury points out that despite multiple recessions, global wars, the avian flu, SARS, 9-11, and natural disasters, the U.S. has not experienced a quarterly drop in activity like this since the Great Depression. And just three weeks ago, the market was at an all-time high and the economy was running strong with incredible employment numbers. Recent events have been a surprise to everyone but four senators on the Senate Intelligence Committee. The speed of change in our world from this virus has happened so fast, I'm reminded of the 1960s movie, The Andromeda Strain. In this movie, a virus comes to Earth on a meteor from outer space. In an early scene, the scientists are enjoying life at a cool 1960s cocktail party when U.S. Air Force soldiers arrive at the door. The scientists are whisked away to a top secret secure facility where they furiously work against time to find an antidote to the virus. Life is suddenly changed, just like ours has been, with restaurants, bars, beaches, small businesses, and even churches closed. And behind it all, not just an economic threat, but a health threat. Fear in society is at record levels too. The fear level of the market, as measured by the VIX, hit an all-time high last week. With all these remarkable events taking place, how could this time not be different? Well, first, while the coronavirus and the government response are unprecedented, crisis events themselves are nothing new. This table shows major crisis events since 1907. There have been many, and they only seem less significant in retrospect. Second, time-wise, we were actually due or even overdue for a bear market. The bull market that just ended in March lasted 11 years. There have been 16 bear markets since 1926. That's an average of about one every six years. Without this event, a bear market may have been years away, but it would have eventually arrived nonetheless. Third, once a bear market occurs, that is once the market declines by more than 20%, the average decline is 38%. As of March 23rd, the market was down 37%. That's almost exactly the normal amount of decline. And I'll bet you thought that right now nothing was normal. And while this is the most rapid drop from the market high to bear in history, most bear markets develop rapidly. Another characteristic of bear markets is the dominant emotion is fear rather than greed. Here's a look at CNN's fear index. So yes, this is typical too. During these periods, we often see Fed actions such as lowering interest rates, and we sometimes see stimulus packages like the one Congress just passed as we speak. Check. Knowing all these things helps put the current market in perspective. This is a recession we're in and a bear market. 
which occur periodically throughout history. And what then if we look at past bear markets, might they tell us about the future and what to expect going forward because that's our concern. Perhaps this chart from First Trust says it best. This shows the history of bull and bear markets since 1926. As we can see, the average bull market period lasted almost seven years, with an average cumulative return of 340%. Bull markets are relatively long. The average bear lasts about 1.3 years, with, a, with an average cumulative loss of about 38%. Bear markets are relatively short. If we look at this chart, we can see the market goes through periodic cycles. While what we are experiencing right now is not an enjoyable part of the rotation, we can take solace in the fact that there is light at the end of the tunnel and feel optimistic about the future, since every time in the past, optimism has been the right answer. And while I don't know medicine, I am optimistic that the best minds all over the world are working on defeating the coronavirus, and I am confident that they and we will succeed. If you have questions during these difficult times, please don't hesitate to call me or call my office to set up a virtual meeting. We're not in it for the short run, not even until the coronavirus is defeated. We're in it for the country mile.